Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. You and this person are not talking, you're not communicating. The two of you have spent some time apart. There are some emotional or physical distance. Probably it looks like both. Distance between you and this person, okay? It looks like from what I'm seeing here, there were some obstacles between you and this person and one of the main obstacles was healing. The divine masculine, and I hate to always say this because I feel like a lot of the times when I say divine masculine, you guys kind of take it as like, well, it's the man, it's the man. No, divine masculine doesn't necessarily have to literally, literally be like the man all the time. You could be female and still resonate as divine uh, masculine and vice versa. But the divine masculine in this situation couldn't couldn't be open and vulnerable with you at the time the two of you were not on the same page right you didn't want the same things i strongly feel like the two of you definitely loved each other it totally looks like the two of you loved each other okay you could be dealing with uh, an aries a leo or a sagittarius or a taurus virgo or a capricorn or an aquarius or your person could be or you could be or have that in your chart right whatever flip and switch it <sighs> You just weren't seeing eye to eye and that was because somebody had some really, really deep wounds. And this person just like, it feels like I'm, you're dealing with somebody here who was like coming across as the king of swords, king of cups and reverse energy where like this person's like one track mind, they're kind of cold. But then when they met you, they learned, they didn't know that love could be what it could be until they met you, Divine Feminine. And since the two of you have been apart, I feel like this person has been kind of like reflecting, thinking about things. Things really haven't, I feel like, been going this person's way. They've been through a lot. And I feel like whatever it is that they went through, you guys, a lot of it didn't have anything to do with you. A lot of it came from like old wounds for some of y'all past relationships. For other of you guys, it's like childhood issues that they just, their family swept under the rug could be something from a past life you know you never know what it is but it looks like this person knows exactly what that is and they know it needs to be addressed and it looks like they're like damn i hit a brick wall i'm not gonna get my person back if i don't address these things because see this person's heartbroken over the brick wall that the two of you, whether you're talking or not, I just feel like this person, it looks like they're very heartbroken over, over you and they want to start over. You know, the fool is here. They really are hoping that you'll speak with them and give them another chance. But I just feel like this person's so wounded, you guys. The Nine of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles is here. I feel like this person's just been wounded over time. This person just guarded themselves a lot. This person, now they're understanding how they got in their own way. For some of you all, this person could have sabotaged. I mean, it's always self-sabotage if you don't address what needs to be healed and you just brush it under the rug and you just move on and you think you could put a band-aid on it by doing whatever that is to suppress those emotions or what happened or act like it was somebody else or self-victimization or blaming other people or like drinking drugs you know sex addiction having several different hoes like whatever it is male or female you know that's how people deal with their wounds I know I've been there, okay? <sighs> Nine of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. I just feel like this is something this person has been through hell and back and they've been like, they're learning this is a pattern. They're learning that it's something that has gotten them where, the, where they are now. And they know that they have to push forward because they're starting to feel really drained. This person is fatigued. They're so tired. They're so tired of faking it for some of y'all. This person is just so they are so some of y'all, this person feels like they they've experienced setback after setback since the you you two have like not talked or like, you know, this this person feels like maybe like, you know, you this person was not reliable. Like I feel like when you needed them collective, they weren't there for you when you really needed this person to show up, they weren't there. So now this person is like, okay, I gotta be persistent. 
how can I how can I fight for this even though I know like the time apart between the two of you because this person feels like you're going to be guarded like you stood your ground the seven of wands is on the bottom of the deck like I feel like you took the high road like this person could have attacked you this is somebody who like literally like you would try to speak to them about something communication was just off right this is somebody who thinks they're smarter than you or like they, they were know-it-all or some shit <sighs> Yeah, but I feel like they've reached the end of the road with this, though. So what else is this? What, show me what else here for this connection, please. What else does the collective need to know? The sun and the two of cups. I'm telling you, this person loves you. They were their happiest when they were with you. The sun, they could be a Leo or Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. The sun and the two of cups. <laughs> you know, this person feels like you could talk with them they could talk to you about anything. This person felt like when they met you, for some of you all, like they felt like, oh my God, this is my soulmate. But like, they weren't ready. They weren't ready. The compatibility between you and this person, I feel like really like made this person happier. But on the inside, this person really wasn't happy collective. This person was not happy with themselves. I just want you to know that. Are they a little bit more optimistic about things now? Do Are they recognizing who you are to them and what you meant to them? Are they recognizing that you're a sacred, there's a sacred union between the two of you and that you could be possibly their soulmate or the love of their life? Yes. They are realizing that. They know how compatible the two of you were. Um, this person knows that you love them. They do. They're trying to find the confidence. Show me here. Um, why is the sun here? Show me more about the sun. Ooh, what was that? The page of swords. And the Six of Cups. I'm telling you there's something revealed here. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, and Six of Cups. is This person is thinking about the past. This person is thinking... I feel like this person is digging very deep. Like, when it comes to... For some of y'all, their childhood. This person... Some, some of y'all, this person is digging deep in text messages. Or, like, whatever exchange or communication the two of you guys had. This person is, like, thinking about that and really, really missing you. And for some of y'all, this person low-key is, like, you know, talking about you. Or asking about you. Or they're just spying on you. Trying to see what you're up to. Because they want to know if they have a chance with you. They really do. They want to know if they have a chance with you. They want to know if you've moved on. They want to know. They want to know. Inquiring minds. <laughs> this person wants to know here. I mean, six of cups is here. Two of cups is here. They know you are their soulmate. Okay? They know it's not going to get any better. They never met anyone like you. But they, And you know what's so crazy? This person is so wounded. They feel like you broke their heart. The Tower and the Six of Swords. This person may want to come towards you. Seven of Swords. Yeah, listen. I feel like this person has some really risky behavior here. Some really risky behavior. Something happened in this person. This person is experiencing a tower moment here. Uh, Scorpio energy, or you could be a Scorpio here. But somebody here is trying to run away from a tower moment. And it's like, no, no, no. Your spirit is like, you cannot run away from this seven of swords energy. You were in this deceptive, lying, cheating, manipulative, sneaky energy. You cannot run away from this. This tower moment is here because you, you, you prayed and asked for something. We gave it to you. And then you just, you know, you just toss it out like, like it was trash or you acted like you know you didn't want to you weren't ready to uh you know be emotionally vulnerable with somebody and so now this person is experiencing upheaval in some form of sudden change in their life and now they know they gotta change their ways but the thing is with the tower being here the tower is directing this person now to in the Six of Swords energy, which is actually good. There is a silver lining in that, whether you know it or not, okay? Because the Six of Swords energy is like, somebody here could even be moving or traveling here. 
this person is coming out of a storm. They're coming out of this tower moment all because of that seven of swords energy. For some of you all, somebody here could be like sneaking and moving and not telling anybody. That could be their next move too. That's not for everybody here. Because this person here is just looking for some relief. They're so overwhelmed. They're just like looking for relief. Um, but let's see what this tower, what else? What, what is this tower about? Show me more about this tower. Thank you. The Knight of Cups. Yeah. The Knight of Cups. This person, I'm telling you, this person is about to follow their heart and make a love offer. They are, want to charm you. Show me more here about the Six of Swords and this tower. Okay, what do we have here? They're so nervous that you're going to reject them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They can't stop thinking about you. I feel like this person looks at their phone, seven of cups with the four of cups. This person is really, really super emotional whether you're talking to them or not. I feel like this person is so reluctant to like want to call you. I don't know why my hair is doing that. Hold on. This person is like so reluctant to like want to call you and text you and talk to you. But they're stopping themselves because they're afraid that you may reject them and it might be too late. Like I said, has to collect and move on. You see how this person looks? They're looking at the phone. They're like, oh my goodness, what should I do? What do I do? And then in the seven of cups, this person looks confused, right? This person's like, I don't know what I, if I should reach out to the collective or not. Maybe this is wishful thinking here, you know, or <sighs> this person is just overwhelmed here. This person is overwhelmed. Mm. Somebody here may have some other options too. They may have chose the wrong option and they had a tower moment with that other option. So show me here, what, then what? Show me more about the Seven of Cups. Show me more about the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Somebody wants to tell the truth that they juggled you. Somebody wants to tell the truth. See, they want to bring in a love offer here. Page of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. They want to come in, but this Page of Cups kind of came in crossing. And, and the first thing I got with this Two of Pentacles and this Ace of Swords is like either this person wants to tell you the truth about them seeing somebody else, by why they were only giving so much to you, why they were not uh, vulnerable, completely vulnerable and open with you the first time around here. Now I feel like this person is having a breakthrough. They're going to be making some form of a decision because like they're weighing their options, energy, do or should I, shouldn't I, I don't know. Should I talk to the collective about this? I don't know. I know I want a new beginning with them, but like, <sighs> uh, I've got to tell the truth. This person knows they cannot come towards you and lie. All right. So show me more here. Uh, so what's the blockages with this person then? Why aren't they moving towards the collective? Why are they so uncertain now? Money. Um, <laughs> money. Okay. Page of Pentacles just came out with the Four of Pentacles. Hello, money. And then in between that. The Page of Pentacles came out. The Ten of, Ten of Wands came out in between the Four of Pentacles. This person is having some issues maybe with money or this person just feels like like stressed out with life in general and they're burnt out. They're feeling overwhelmed. And I'm pretty sure I said that earlier, like this person is just like going through it, right? Um, so, yeah. Somebody has some changes in their money situation or this person is trying to change their money situation or, uh, you know, they feel like they got to get something together. This person is definitely like trying to save their money here. Like, okay, they're, they're literally, yeah. Mm. Penny pension. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. And then again with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck with the star. This person is hoping for a reunion with you. They're hoping they can rebuild things with you. They, they can heal things with you. They want to learn, um, you know, but this person, I feel like they need support. They're going to need support right now because they feel like you're going to come at them like in this Queen of, Wands, Queen of Swords be. 
Queen of Swords energy, like you're setting boundaries, you're strong, you, you, you're you not going to come. They know you don't want to hear anything less than the truth from them. For those of you who are open to taking this person back, okay. Show me what else here for this person. Mm. For some of you all, there was a third party. For some of you all, there was a third party here. Or, or if, you know, I do, again, feel like you did set boundaries with this person. For some of you all, this was like, you're you're extremely empathic person and your love was healing to them. And there was some form, form of empathic narcissist or just this person charmed you. They love bombed you or something here. Be careful if this person comes back in and they want to, but they do want to talk. They do want to talk, but I'm just saying, be careful because we have talking in coffee cups. So I'm just saying, just be careful. And I think you are going to be careful, but I think you're still going to be weighing your options here. You're like, yeah, see, healthy choices came out. Making healthy choices in love and life and self-care, being happier, having faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting and hesitation. This person is really trying to find, like, they're trying to make the right decision and not be this toxic or whatever, or what, whether they're with, they were with somebody else or not. They want to have a conversation with you and talk about this. For some of y'all, that's a text message. For some of y'all, it's a phone call, you know, or an instant message or something. Yeah. <laughs> We have coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, change, growth, and liberation. This person knows they come back towards you collective that they have to be different. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. I feel you even though we are apart. Okay. Hold on. Spirit is saying I need to pull from this deck. So I'm just going to put this deck aside real quick. What else does this person want to say to the collective? Yeah, see, this person may have ghosted you, collective, or they may have, like, left you on red, or, like, or they may feel like, or, like, this person refused to communicate with you for some of y'all, or this person is like, I know the collective is not going to talk to me because I messed everything up. I know they're not going to want to talk to me, right? But I do feel like for some of you, you guys... This person was just one-sided. Like, they didn't want to communicate. They would, like, leave you on red or not communicate, not respond, not answer your phone calls, refuse to talk to you. Yeah, I knew exactly what I was doing. And this person knew they were being manipulative. They knew they were avoiding. Avoided detachment style is what this person has. It says, I feel you leaving me behind. And they do feel like you're leaving them behind because they know that they have a lot of healing to do. They know that they mess this up. They feel like a lot of time has passed, but too much time has passed between the two of you. And now they may not even be able to come back in and repair this. Show me what else. Yeah, this person really wants you to be patient with them. How dare they, though? How dare they? Please be patient with me. How dare they? Tell me what I can do to fix this. Don't let me go. Wow. This person is begging and crying. Please, ooh, they begging and crying. Look at this shit. Can we please start over? This person is begging on their knees, and this is you saying no, no, <laughs> or they think you're going to say no. They just think you're going to be like, hell no, hell to the no, 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 they do. They think they do not have a chance in hell, but this person is crying over you, like Jodeci crying over you, honey. I just want you to know that. Sorry, I'm trying to put my deck back. Oh, this person's watching you move on. Look at this. It says, watching you move on kills me. So y'all have done a lot of healing. This person thought that the things that you, some of y'all, you know, could be have moved on with somebody else here and they could be watching you move on with a better person where this person sits back and they dream and imagine, you know, like what the two of you could have had because we have the sun here, we have the two of cups here, we have the fool here, the six of cups, the page of cups, the nine of cups. <laughs> 
And then the Seven of Cups. Like, this person's definitely daydreaming about what the two... Baby, you're one of one. Look at this. You are one of a kind and your person knows it. They know what... Yep, karma is fucking me up right now. You see what I'm saying? I told you that. Karma. Oh, listen. Look at this. I didn't even see this card. They meant nothing to me. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, for some of y'all, this person juggled you. For others of you, this person, like, you know, they just weren't ready when you came in. They had unhealed issues and they feel like you broke their heart because you set distance and healthy boundaries and made better choices. And it's like, no, no, honey. Um, I feel like you guys took the high road. I do. So just know that this person, um, yeah, they're coming in. Oh, breaking my heart. Mint condition is playing right now. Play the music, Alexa. I guess it paused as soon as I said something. This person does not want anybody to know that they are heartbroken. This this person does not want anybody to, or they don't want you to know that. I'm just saying. <clears throat> uh, join us over on Patreon. That's going to be the reading here, you guys. This person could be anybody. I mean, obviously, you, you take what resonates and just please leave the rest, okay?